In this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the finite difference method in a typical node problem here, like the one here. And this is used in a heat transfer course or other uh, similar courses. But here, we're asked to find the temperature um, on each point or node for point one, two, three, four, using the finite difference method here. So uh, recall that the finite difference method is this formula. So if delta x and delta y is the same, which typically most of these problems they are, you can use this formula right away. So I won't be going into the technicalities of the finite difference method formula, but instead how to use it in a problem like the one before or similar, similar problems. And um, yeah, basically uh, you'll have to probably remember this formula or write it down somewhere. And in the case it's not delta x equals delta y, then you can use this formula, but in most cases you'll be uh, using this formula on top. And so recall that in a no problem, um, basically, um, changes in M, right? Let's say this is our first point. This is our point, our first point, right? So changes in M are always horizontal changes. So if it's plus one, we're moving to the right. If it's M minus one, then we're moving to the left. Um, for N, it's vertical. So N plus one means we're going to the top, we're going up while n minus 1 means we're going down. So just remember that because you're going to need this for solving the problem. Um, all right, so let's start with finding the temperature at the first point or the first node, which is this. And this is the equation we have for the finite difference method. And we first have to find Tm plus 1n. So because point 1 is what we're trying to find, this acts as our Tm. Uh, whoops t m n or our stationary point this is our point of origin or basically where we start at so since we're starting here and we're going m plus one one to the right so it means we're going this way so it's 400 that's first so this is checked already plus t m minus one so we're going to the left this way and when we go to the left it means we're hitting t4 so that's plus T4 and this is checked plus Tm n plus 1 so in this case m is not moving but n is moving and it's plus 1 so we're going to the top right so it's plus 700 that's checked and lastly well not lastly but here Tm n minus 1 so it's n but it's going down because it's minus 1 so T3 plus T3 this is checked. And lastly, um, since we are finding the temperature at point one, that's our origin point, and that's our TMN, right? So it's asking your M minus four TMN. So TMN is just um, T1. So we just write down M uh, minus four T1. So that's checked and equals to zero. So this is our um, first equation to find the temperature at point one. All right, so moving on to point two. Point two is right here. Um, I'll speed up uh, since I think you uh, understand how this works now. So Tm uh, plus one, right? Plus one M. So we're going to the right. So that's T3 plus Tm and Tm minus one N going to the left. So that's plus 100. Check uh, Tm N plus one moving to the top. So that's T4. And now we're moving to the bottom. So it's Tm n minus 1, right? So we're going uh, going down plus 500 uh, minus 4 T2. T2 because remember, this is our origin point. So that equals to 0. So that is our uh, temperature equation for point 2. We want to point 3 here. So Tm plus 1n to the right, 400, plus Tm minus 1 to the left, plus T2. So this is checked, this is checked. Tm n plus 1, we're going to the top, so this is T1. Minus 1, n, y, n minus 1 here, so we're going to the bottom, which is 500. And lastly, minus four T3, because that is our origin point. So zero, okay? And finally, for the equation for point four, 
0.4 here. So first Tm plus 1 to the right. So that's T1 plus Tm minus 1n. So that's to the left plus 100 plus Tm n plus 1. So we're going to the top here, going up 700 plus Tm n minus 1 going down T2. And lastly, minus 4 T4 because T4 is our origin point. So this is all check, 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 check. So we're all good here. And this is our uh, equation for point four. Since um, we've made all the equations uh, for point one, two, three, four, so we're basically done in compiling all the equations from this plate. Now the problem here is to solve for these equations. And if you notice here, it's a system of linear equations, right? The whole system of linear equations all here. And one way you can solve this is using the using a matrix or um, uh, specifically the gauss jordan elimination method and i'm not going to go into how to solve it with the uh, gauss jordan but i'll show you how to uh, develop the matrix here so uh, let's take for example um this equation right the first one uh let's say if we take this first equation here and we set it into its matrix form so if you remember the matrix there's x y z so on but here it's t1 t2 t3 t4 right and so here and the first uh, equation, if you see T1 here is 4, negative 4 specifically. So negative 4. That's why it's negative 4 there. And T2 is 0 here because, well, if you look at this equation, there is no T2, right? So T2 is 0. And here T3 is 1 because here we have a T3, a plus T3, and basically it's plus 1 T3. So T3 is 1 here. Same thing for T4. We have a T4 here plus T4, which is plus 1 T4. And for B, it's basically moving all the constants um, or all the um, numbers into the other side, right? So we move 700 to this side and we uh, move 400 to this side and negative 700 minus negative 400 is negative 1100, right? Which is this. So the same principle applies for the um, second, third, and fourth equations. So you just have to follow my explanation before. And solving this matrix, we get the temperature values, which are this. So if you've made the correct matrix, then you should get these values as well. So that's it for um, the finite difference method in solving these node problems. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Thank you.